Hello everyone, my name is Adam Wiseman and this is my channel. Today's video is going to be on meditation. If you see me looking down, I'm not being rude. I just have my notes here on my phone. What is meditation? Meditation is simply bringing yourself to the present moment and clearing your mind, bringing yourself to a mindful state of consciousness. Meditation has been used for thousands of years in Hindu practices and Buddhist practices and many other spiritual paths. Some of the health benefits for it is less stress, helps with anxiety, better memory loss, also helps with other mental disorders, better ability to process emotions and thought, creative thinking. Now you might be asking yourself, what all you can use meditation for? We're just going to ignore my cat. You can use meditation for many different things involving, you know, charging your crystals, clearing your chakras. Connecting with your deities and the elements and any other astral figures that you want to connect with, such as fairies and gnomes and all the other stuff. You can use it for drawing down the moon. You can use it in spell work. You can use it to power your intentions and your will. You can use it in many different ways. So it's definitely something you want to get down and get taken care of before you try to move any on to any more advanced things. Before I teach you how to actually meditate, there is two things that we need to talk about. The first one is belly breathing. When we are born, we are natural belly breathers. If you see a newborn baby, pay attention. You can see the rise and the fall of their stomach and their chest is staying so. This is how we're supposed to naturally breathe. And then as to the age, we start breathing through our chest. And when you breathe through your chest, your airflow is constricted. You're not getting as much up air and oxygen into your lungs. So you want to breathe through your diaphragm into your belly. And you can practice this. Lay down on your bed. Start breathing slowly. Place your hand on your chest and one on your stomach. And see if the hand on your stomach can rise and fall while the chest that has your hand on it stays still. Now the second thing that we have to talk about is deep breathing. <clears throat> Some deep breathing exercises that can help you is to slowly breathe in through your nose. Count to five. Hold for two. Exhale for five. And do this over and over again until it becomes natural. And then once you're able to do that easy, count to six. And then hold for three maybe. And then exhale for six. And see if you can get your breath slower slower and deeper and deeper. Now I'm going to show you a quick overview of how to actually meditate. Sit or lay in a comfy position. Slowly breathe in and out. You want to focus on your breath. The pause in between the breath, how it feels. Can you feel it? Can you feel the air out the tip of your nose? or the air opening up your stomach, thoughts will come to your mind. It's okay, just return to breath. Just remember, everything in meditation is just focusing on the breath. After you've meditated for even maybe just three minutes, you can simply return back to the now. Now I'm going to show you a quick overview of how to actually meditate. Now, as I have said, you can also meditate with crystals to charge them and also to harness their energies that they can give you. For example, this is an amethyst pointer that I have. And you can just simply hold it in your hands while you're meditating and focus on the free vibrational frequency of the stone and the energies that it is giving you if you want to soak in the energies or if you're wanting to charge the stone with your own energies and push in the power you would simply hold it in and visualize and feel the energy coming from the earth through your body into the stone before I wrap up this video I would just like to give you a couple of tips to help you with your meditation practice 
first one is you want to do it daily. This one is especially important, especially for me. I have noticed that if I skip a day of meditation, next thing I know, it's been three, four days that I haven't meditated and my chakras and my psyche is completely out of whack. Meditate every day, preferably around the same time. If you can wake up, meditate right in the morning if you're able to, or right before bed, you know, set yourself at least, you know, even if it's three to five minutes of meditation, it will benefit you to do it every single day. If you live in a hectic house, I'm pretty sure you take a shower by yourself. You can sit there in the water, but far enough out where you're not completely surrounded by it and do some standing meditation, deep breathing, sit there and focus on your breath. And make it work for you. You know, if you had to do it with a candle or, you know, a certain scent or incense or essential oils or even, you know, burning a resin or an herb mixture, if you need a cushion, for example, I need a cushion for me to get comfortable meditating. I can't meditate in a bed. It doesn't work for me. So I purchased a cushion. And when I first started meditating, a lot of the times I would use guided meditations. And there is thousands of them on YouTube. Just search it up, guided meditations. Odds are you'll be able to find what you're looking for. And also, like I've said before, you want to be comfortable. Make sure you wear comfortable, free-flowing clothes. Nothing too tight. Nothing too heavy that fits a little bit looser that you're able to breathe in and you will be comfortable in because you will sometimes sit in this position for, you know, 20 minutes to... There's people that have even meditated up for a whole day. So you want to make sure you are wearing something comfortable and that you are completely comfortable and focused. And also, of course, some study material. You know, this... Practice wouldn't be complete without reading, because that's literally all you do in this practice is study. The Complete Book of Mindful Living. A very, very good book. Complete talk about meditation and consciousness and living mindful and mindful eating and all sorts of good stuff. As you can see, it's quite read through. So... And then that's it for today. You know, we talked about deep breathing, um, breathing through your diaphragm, being mindful of your breath, slowing your breath, focusing on the breath. We talked about meditation with crystals. We talked about all the sorts of different things that you can do with meditation and your practice. So drop me a like, drop me a subscribe. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. I'm going to leave a um, couple of links down below with all of a couple of guided, med guided meditations for you. And that's it. See you next week.